Psychotech Razor was a really cool piece of Gillette history. They were approached by the U.S. Army in 1949, and basically they wanted people in mental institutions, prisons, to start taking more control of their own life again and start kind of a rehabilitation process. And so saving the nurse the trouble of having to shave somebody, they were like, let's just control access to the blade by having to have a special key that actually could take the blade out. So these razors were made and they're you know, collectible. People love them. People always have enjoyed things to do with, you know, taboo, incarceration, hospitals, escape from Alcatraz, all these different kind of iconic American ideas of prison. The razors are in the same category and so people have collected these over the years, but they, you know, they couldn't find always the keys. And so they kind of became useless because you can't get the blade out or in. They sold the Psycho Keys originally 10 razors to one key, which made sense if the nurse or the prison guard is using this, but if it's you at home, you need one key per one razor. So naturally these things were pretty hard to come by. And while there's people out there who have made kind of mock keys, i.e. Allen wrenches, screwdrivers, other kind of pieces of hardware from the store, they really have no place in a uh, shave den or a display case cabinet. I got tired of waiting for, you know, that magical day when someone was going to find a storage unit full of these keys or some hospital was going to close and release 500 keys on the market. So rather than do that, I thought, let's just do this and let's do it right. Let's take the time to figure out um, how to make it. So it started off with an easy idea. Make one of these in the USA. Make it, you know, make it look authentic. Um, proved a little harder, took a couple months, but we started by working with a local machine shop to CNC lathe the actual turn part of the, of the key and then mill this pattern to closely replicate the original neural pattern from the uh, tech razors. We then found the original company back in New York that made this ball chain and it's been in business since 1939 and they are the only company that make it in the USA. So I can only assume it's the same company that Gillette used. Uh, same, same size, number 13 ball, quarter inch. Uh, the last two pieces were the hardest. We have a uh, brass eyelet. So we actually laser cut this, the special laser up in uh, northern Arizona that can cut sheet brass and um, to make that eyelet. And then finally we worked with a jewelry studio in Missouri to make this uh, jump ring out of steel and it's number 10 gauge exactly like the original, and it's the same outer diameter and inner diameter, so it's a perfect match. Even the packaging, we kind of worked to um, find a similar size proportional box. Instead of, though, for 10 keys, it was scaled down to just be for one key, and it's that same kind of craft brown cardboard look, and even the label from the 60s, it's the same layout, it's the same proportions. We even gave it an aged look to look like old paper, so it looks like you're getting a replica, you know, scaled down version of this entire set. At Razor Emporium, we follow in the footsteps of Gillette. Uh, they've set the bar pretty high with quality. We've always been chasing that. It was just something that I, I had to do. I had to get this, this key made and made right. Um, this Razor is so badass and it deserves this kind of quality. We've delivered something that's 100% American made out of brass and steel. This is hand finished, hand assembled, so that the end result is something you can be proud to use and display.